Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, first I will explain, what is offset yield strength and why it is required for some materials. After that, I will explain, what is proof strength or proof stress. And why it is so important in the design of fasteners. But first, if you want to know the basics of stress and strain curve, click on I button and watch this video on stress and strain curve. If you see the stress and strain curve of mild steel, this curve is linear up to point A. And, the stress is directly proportional to the strain up to this point A. The stress corresponding to point A, is known as proportional limit. At this point A, if we remove this applied load, the object will restore its original shape without any permanent deformation. The point B, on this curve, where material starts to yield is known as yield point. And stress corresponding to this point is known as yield strength. At this point B, if we remove the tensile load, there will be a permanent deformation and object will lose its original shape. It was the case of mild steel, which exhibits a well-defined yield point. Unfortunately, not all materials exhibit a well-defined yield point just like mild steel do. For example, aluminium copper and alloy steels. The stress and strain curve of such material will look like this. As you can see here, this graph doesn't have a clear yield point. In such cases, where stress and strain curve doesn't have a clear yield point, the yield strength can be determined by an offset method. In this method, the distance OA, which is 0.2% of the original gauge length, is marked on the x-axis. Then, a line AY is constructed from point A, which is parallel to straight line of stress and strain curve. The stress value corresponding to point Y, is called the offset yield strength or offset yield stress. Now I will answer, what is proof stress and why it is important in the design of fasteners. In case of fasteners, instead of yield strength, the term proof load or proof stress is frequently used. Because, if we load the bolt up to yield strength, bolt will have permanent deformation and it cannot be used again. Proof load is defined as the maximum tensile force, that can be applied to a bolt, that will not result in plastic deformation. In other words, the material must remain in its elastic region when loaded up to its proof load. Proof load is typically between 85 to 95 percent of the yield strength. Now it is clear that, the use of bolts according to proof load can help prevent plastic deformation. And it can be assured that it has maintained its original size and shape, and may be safely reused. Proof strength or proof stress is determined by offset method as explained earlier. However the offset may vary from 0.1% to 0.5% of original gauge length. The value of the offset percentage of strain is arbitrarily, and defined by the material testing standard being used like ASTM, or ISO. The most common offset is 0.2%, but this can vary depending on the material. Hope you like this video, please share this video and subscribe to my channel for more technical updates. Thank you.